It's just a quick uh, video today about opening your records. Okay, now I buy a lot of used vinyl, and from the condition <laughs> I've gotten some of them in, I know at least some of you out there need to see this. Okay, now this is it. This is a perfectly sealed brand new record, right? You got it? Hey, who? All four sides sealed. What you want to do is get the shrink wrap off, but what you don't do is just rip into it and shred it to pieces and leave it on the floor like the little kid opening his Christmas present Xbox or something. That's what you don't do. Okay, so what you want to do is find the side that the actual cardboard sleeve is going to open on. Now, oftentimes, as in this case, you can kind of see you know, if you're not used to looking for it, you might not be able to help. This one's pretty obvious. It's got nice solid black, solid black, solid black, and cardboard. Sometimes when they're really sealed tight and it's like a nice case, you really can't quite see the side that's going to open. Um, when you're when you're in that position, just look for a side that's the spine. Obviously, if it's got writing on it, that tells you right off. Usually, it won't, but you can still tell this is just a little bit thicker than here and here, and that's going to tell you where your spine is. And if you've got a record that's sealed like this, this one's coming apart a little bit. Um, but still, if you got a record that's kind of wrapped around like this, 99 times out of 100, it means the opening is going to be on, it's, it's running vertical. So spine opening. Again, you can really tell on this one because this is pretty loosely done. Uh, every once in a while you'll find one going this way. Um, but basically they all go that way, so that's a tip. Now I've got, I got a handy little exacto knife thing. You don't need something quite this precise, you know. Uh, you can do it with a pen. You can do it with kind of, you know, a pocket knife, whatever you got. But what you want to do then is go to the side that's going to open. And just slit the plastic like that. Now cut it open. Now once, now once you've done it nice, even the part you haven't cut. We'll just slide open like that. Bang. And why you do it this way is because now, I mean, this is just a plain black crappy sleeve. But if this was a really nice picture cover or something, you know, if this were, you know, bow, picture cover, even if it's not a picture cover, you still don't want your sleeve coming like crap. It just protects the cover. It also protects it. Uh, I actually had a horrible, unfortunate case where a few of my records got a little water damage or a little water poured on them and fortunately it only happened to a few that were kind of out of their collection they were all kept in the plastic like this so they were not ruined so bow and see then you just take your record out like you would normally we just rip the whole plastic off uh, eventually the cardboard is gonna get damaged even if you're really careful with it just putting it on the shelf you know, you'll see that the bottoms will get a little worn and worn and get worse and worse. And, and you know, when you keep them for years, you really see the difference. You really see the condition decline. Um, <laughs> if you've got a cat like I do, uh, and you got a bunch of these within her reach, they love to sharpen their claws on record sleeves. I got a whole bunch of, you know, like classical and jazz records from my parents, and the cases all shredded up around on, on, the, on the spine end, because that's the side that was sticking out. Um, and there, and I have found personally, I can vouch for this. Cats are a lot less likely to scratch plastic wrapped records. <laughs> That's another bonus reason. So then, there you go. Nice kept. The way I actually like to do it is have it so the paper sleeve opens out too. So you can just kind of take the record out, like so, and always leave the paper in the plastic. I know some DJs like to do the opposite, I think, because if you're traveling a lot in your records, maybe you're afraid they're going to fall out. But, uh, actually, if you're, you know, but if you're DJing in a nightclub or something, this is the way to do it, because that way you can bow, take the record right out, and put it right back in. A lot of DJs just, uh, they ditch the paper sleeves because of that, so you can just chuck it in the cardboard. Um, the records get a little scratched that way, you know, your condition of your records going downhill. Um, this is the best way to do it, if you ask me. So there you go, short video, good tip for all you uh, record buyers, uh, 
new buyers and old buyers because I know a lot of you old record buyers are not keeping your records nice like this. I'm buying them used and they look a lot worse. <laughs> All right, let's preserve vinyl because uh, it's, it, it's, we're really running out of it. It's all going MP3 now. Lost treasures, not getting reprinted. Even traffic reissues, you know, like the Cool Rap and stuff like that. Freddy Fox, CD only. It's all, it's all gone. Peace out.